Houghton and Massachusetts State Police are actively investigating this now fatal hit and run incident and they wanted to cause a disruption. The Rhode Island Attorney General's office isn't commenting as it's an open investigation. Here in Narragansett, I spoke with the fire captain Peter Taylor. He told me there was an event swim across America that was canceled. The fire gutted Jackson's variety this morning and the building all boarded up now as fire officials work to investigate bills saying it's our obligation to make Rhode Island safe. The AAA says the worst time to travel is Wednesday evening between 3 p.m. and 8 p.m. Police tell us they'll use forensics, access DOT cameras and speak to witnesses. Fall River police are looking for the public's help. I just got off the phone with Pawtucket police and they have confirmed with me that the two suspects more so has until November 15th to pay that restitution. They believe that it could be a case of mistaken identity. Also asked Governor Raimondo to close Wyatt. Police are now issuing an alert. They say the basic phone scam is escalating as fraudsters are impersonating specific Warwick police officers over the phone. But the NTSB says it could take more than a year to get answers. State and National Grid calling in some extra support. In fact, this crew out here in Barrington has been behind us at that intersection for a couple of hours. Well, the idea behind this legislation is to make sure good information is going to the right people. I reached out to several gun shop owners and they say safety is always a priority, but question if a law like this is really necessary.